Hello, good morning, students. This is the new lecture for uh, community ophthalmology. The topic is community ophthalmology. This uh, topic is important from your uh, theory point of view. That is uh, short notes. Generally, in your exam, there will be a short note on Vision 2020, then uh, School Eye Health or Eye Camps or National Program for Control of Blindness. So this is an important for uh, four marks question and as well as in your viva the examiner can ask you the questions related with the community of ophthalmology because we are doing our eye camps our branch is comprehensive eye care so there is prevention promotion of ocular health rehabilitation and curative treatment on larger scale when we are dealing this we are dealing for a community so the modern medical science is often accused of laying undue emphasis of study of disease and neglect of positive health why you should study a disease you know that health is a basic human right health for all but this is a distant dream the concept in ophthalmology community ophthalmology has emerged to combat the blindness over the years, it has developed as an important branch of community medicine. Its activities emphasize the prevention of ocular disease and visual impairment, reduction of ocular disability and promotion of ocular health, quality of life and efficiency of a group of people at a community level. The gift of sight is a boon. It is denied to an estimated 45 million 135 million suffer from low vision. The causes of blindness are various. They start from cornea to the optic nerve. You know in your clinical uh, as well as uh, theory that the patient came to ophthalmology OPD for the complaint of dimness or loss of vision. It can be gradual or it can be a sudden. The causes, the effect is one but the causes can be varied. The causes can be started from cornea or it can be from a refractory corneal opacity then something happens into the anterior chamber then iris then lens then vitreous then optic nerve but the patient will have a main complaint of dimness or loss of vision the causes of blindness are various there are barriers to have the benefits of surgical or medical treatment what are these barriers the barriers they are not purely ophthalmological the patient may not know where the facilities are available it may be a refractory correction it may be cataract it may be glaucoma surgery it may be trachoma surgery the patient is not aware and there are barriers for surgery some barriers are there is no one to look after the old patient there is nobody to take him to the clinics. There is nobody to look after him and the loss of wages. So these barriers, they are non-ophthalmological, but they prevent the person from taking uh, the treatment. So you have to change the attitude. There is a ladder to good health. What is a ladder? So everybody will be on the bottom of a ladder or on the top of ladder. From ophthalmological point of view, we can take that the upper ladder is 6 by 60 and the lower ladder is 6 by 6. It means that a person having 6 by 6 vision, he can go to 6 by 60 or a person who is having 6 by 60 vision from Snellen's point of view or counting finger he can go up to a good quality vision so anybody anybody can go from 6 by 6 vision to 6 by 60 or loss of vision or anybody can go from diminution of vision to a good quality vision so it is a ladder so ladder can take you up as well as a down so clinical ophthalmology is targeted towards an individual and community ophthalmology is targeted towards whole community or a group of people. So the use of full scope of ophthalmic and public health knowledge, skills and services 
to promote the ocular health of groups of people at community level directly improving the quality of life of individuals families and community because a country is made by people so if the health of people are good i am talking about ocular health so the country's health is good so you are instead of concentrating on an individual when you are concentrating on a group of a community you can increase the ocular health of a community the examples are the promotion of health ocular health can be done by asking an expected mother to breastfeed the child because the milk contains vitamin a the child will get vitamin a so that is a prevention of a vitamin a deficiency then giving vitamin a capsules or the doses of vitamin a in a school eye health program or a at a junior or senior kg level you can improve the health of a child i am talking about vitamin a deficiency so there can be prevention there can be promotion health education there can be in a example that is in school health you can give an a refractory error correction that is also a prevention of a blindness so from womb to tom you can serve to the community under the program of community ophthalmology the concept of community ophthalmology has become more relevant and is essential to achieve the goal of vision 2020 the right to sight and to accomplish the theme behind vision for the future that is vftf is has improved with the knowledge we are applying for the upliftment of the community in relation with the ophthalmic services the community ophthalmology appears to be the only answer to the huge burden of blindness it has a multidisciplinary approach there should be motivation and training the motivation you can say the paramedical ophthalmic assistants and training of ophthalmic surgeons as well there is a training of teachers because teachers they are helping in our school eye health program as earlier i told that is a comprehensive eye care it is a preventive promotive curative and rehabilitative care so these are the differences in clinical ophthalmology and community ophthalmology the objective is treat and cure an individual is clinical ophthalmology in community there is a treatment and improvement of eye health of a community the information needed is clinical history and physical examination for an individual and for the community you have to find out the magnitude of eye problem and available services the example is that in an area or just you are selected a school magnitude of eye problem what are the uncorrected refractory years if you have found in that uh, particular school you can very well do the service as per because you are cutting the shirt it is called as a tailor made approach so what are the needs of a community you have to find out if there are problem of vitamin a deficiency you have to provide vitamin a uh, services or you have to according to the problem so problem of a community problem of a group is a different as you will see in a later lecture or you can study in a dbcs that is district blindness control society the requirement of every district is different so india is a huge country it is a rural country so the requirements of a people they are different from state to state as well as from district to district and as the district blindness control society will have the information for the magnitude of eye problem in the particular area they will have this knowledge to improve the quality qualitative services and quantitative services can be done with the information we are doing diagnosis in clinical ophthalmology is clinical and in community that is a community diagnosis the action is individual based in community it is community based eye care program just i told cataract diagnostic 
then uh, vitamin A prophylaxis program. So related with the community or uncorrected refractive errors. The evaluation is follow up of visual acuity for an individual and impact of interventions in community ophthalmology. Another example that river blindness, you are preventing river blindness or treatment of river blindness, ivermectin injection. Then for trachoma program, you are giving azithromycin. So there are so many things you can do as a, an a individual level as well as a community level. So as a discipline of medicine which utilizes the methodologies of public health, community medicine and clinical ophthalmology to promote ocular health and prevent blindness, we call it as a community ophthalmology. The blindness is a devastating physical condition. There is a loss of independence. The patient is dependent. The person is dependent. Even if he is having a bilateral cataract, there is an emotional and economic burden to the family. And when there are, this is called as a loss man hours. So the loss man hours will contribute to the economy of a country. Much time and resources are spent to reduce this burden of blindness. So prevention of blindness consideration in community ophthalmology, you have to think of what is the definition of blind? What is the magnitude of blindness? What is the etiology of blindness and how you control the blindness? So this is a, a table that will tell you about the WHO category of visual impairment and India category of visual impairment. So you have to know this table because in your examination that is in VIVA, I will ask this question. So what is the low vision and what is blindness? And what is economic blindness, social blindness, manifest blindness and absolute blindness. So these are the questions that will be asked in your VIVA examination and you have to answer me in VIVA. So the WH category of visual impairment, they have low vision and blindness. The best corrected visual acuity that is called as a BCVA. If the patient can't see 6 by 18 line and with a best corrected visual acuity in other eye, he can see 6 by 60. So here it is taken into account that which is the better eye. So 6 by 60 he is seeing and he can't see 618 means 618 is a better eye. So the 618 and 660, it comprises low vision. The 660 to 360 is called as an economic visual impairment. What is mean by economic? Because with that vision, he is not able to earn his living. Suppose he is doing a work. This 6 by 60 to 3 by 60 visual acuity will not be sufficient to work as a driver so he will not be able to get him employed so he will not get his remuneration or salary so he will be dependent person so he, it is called as a economic blindness he will not be able to earn his living with this visual acuity then 3 by 60 to 1 by 60 this is visual acuity we call it as a social blindness what it means social blindness Social blindness, it means that the person is not able to identify the faces. He will not able to recognize the, his friends or you can see acquaintances. So he will have some embarrassing moment in his functions. So if ever he happens to visit a function and he is not able to recognize the persons or is a friends or acquaintances then they will tell him or they will ask him that he has forgotten them in a language like this a joke apart we can say that aap bade ho gaye, aap humse ab nahi dekh rahe. if he thinks like this if he is listening to these sentences then this will be an embarrassing moment because because of this 
less visual acuity he is not able to identify them and the people they are asking or they are telling him that now he is behaving differently so this embarrassing moment to avoid he will avoid the social gatherings and this is called as a social blindness then what is a manifest blindness in this person he will have only perception of light or the visual acuity up to 1 meter so he has to dependent on somebody to take him out and this is a manifest blindness everybody is coming to know that he is not able to see this is only there will be only perception of light that is a manifest blindness the other category that is called as a absolute blindness so when there is a no perception of light or no light perception in both eyes the patient has to be in his house so for all his requirements even bathroom privileges he has to depend on somebody and that is called as a absolute blindness so in your examination you have to answer me what is low vision what is economic blindness what is social what is manifest and absolute blindness a person having visual acuity less than 3 by 16 in the better eye with correction is defined as a blind this a definition also you have to tell me in examination then you can say the he is too blind to perform work for which i said is essential that is a simple thing and you can label it as an economic blindness we have seen the global blindness worldwide 37 million people are blind 124 million having low vision 153 million uncorrected refractive error the purpose of community ophthalmology services the needs of many should always be given preference so there is a primary eye care there is a curative care and opportunities for rehabilitation the blindness may be preventable curable or non curable the blindness prevalence rate is if more than 1% in general population is indicative of a significant public health problem the economic impact of community blindness is direct and indirect economic loss due to adult and childhood blindness is about 159 billion just i told in my last few slides that is a loss man hour so if a person is blind he is not helping to the country by earning in that period that is called as a loss man hour the cost of treating all cases of cataract in india is about 5.3 billion so you can very well come to know that the treatment is cheaper than the economic loss due to the blindness the causes of blindness who has listed six major causes of blindness i am talking about the globe the cataract glaucoma trachoma vitamin d deficiency onchocerciasis this is not in india the others are diabetic retinopathy age related macular degeneration and optic neuropathies the percentage is 43 15 11 6 and 1 24 others so age and blindness this is a major risk factor the childhood blindness 1.5 million blind child children in the world so the causes or the etiologies for the blindness they are different for different countries so we can take into account developed countries and developing countries in developing countries in children you can see corneal scar that may be because of vitamin deficiency you can see trachoma then cataract and then optic neuropathy and congenital anomalies in developed countries retinopathy of prematurity congenital cataract retinal dystrophies congenital malformation and nystagmus these are the causes so if you know the causes then you can so if you know the etiology they can you can think of a treatment in adults who estimate that 24 to 34 million adults are blind in the world common causes of visual impairment of cataract glaucoma microbial keratitis hiv aids or diabetic retinopathy and onchocerciasis so these are the causes of blindness in adults so the causes of blindness in children and adults they are slightly different and you should be able to answer in your viva so 
blindness in children so there are some causes related with the newborn and there are some causes related with preschool and school children congenital cataract congenital glaucoma development and anomalies nystagmus strabismus they are for newborn the uncorrected refractory error vitamin a deficiency strabismus amblyopia and trauma they are causes for blindness in children that is a preschool and school children what can we do to keep our eyes healthy so health promotion health messages health education is an important tool we have so you can uh, train the teachers you can train the paramedical ophthalmic assistants because they are going into the society so there are you can say the green we eat good food that is green leafy vegetables the carrot the melon the fish the pumpkin green vegetables then keep your face clean that is a safe strategy in trachoma so health messages the slogans they are important in improving the health of people by giving messages then immunization against measles you know that vitamin deficiency is common in measles so alongside the uh, immunization schedule we are giving vitamin a prophylaxis then asking the people to get their vision checked that is a school eye health program and then telling the people about how they should use the medicines the advice and the early treatment uh, that is health promotion these are some pictures that will tell you this is our program is a national prevention for the blindness control program so the how the child or the expectant mother should behave in the ocular health of a child because child is a father of nation so community of thomaji works for giving sight to many vitamin a prophylaxis and treatment school eye health and national program for control of blindness